first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this special data interpretation video or specially made for the students those who are going for a cat level exam as well as students those who are going for a bank mains exam so in those exams you can able to see a very difficult data interpretation so in order to crack that i will be posting these kinds of difficult data interpretation videos so do not forget to watch all my videos but remember one important thing before watching this video you have to know this the same data interpretation question what i am going to teach now is available as a test so first visit my website or my mobile application there in a quantity quantitative aptitude session you can able to see at the last data interpretation bracket means so inside that the same question what i'm going to teach in this set available as a test first write the test and check what is your score whether you are getting five out of five or you can't able to understand the da itself so first write the test after writing the test come and watch this video for solution without writing a test if you watch this video completely 100% the video will be useless no use so first write the test and analyze what is the mistake that you have done where you have done the mistake and then watch this video right definitely it will be helpful for the students those who are going for cat exams and bank mains exam so let me move on to all the difficult data interpretation question on these types of videos so friends now let me move on to the next data interpretation for the mains level exam and this is number 26 so every time i am saying it do not forget to take the test first and then come and watch this video only then you can able to understand where you are making a mistake and which point you are struggling to solve a question right so i think this is also a question that is based on a concept called profit and loss so out of this 26 da i think nearly 5 to 6 da i have posted only based on the concept of profit and loss why because if you are preparing for bank exams especially or cat exams this topic profit and loss time and work time and distance simple interest and compound interest are more and more important on the data interpretation section so that is the reason i'm teaching profit and loss more and more in order to understand each and every concept clearly in da right so now getting into this concept of uh, da what they have given us they have given one bar chart as well as they have given one table chart right so first bar chart what they are telling us the below bar graph shows that the shopkeeper profit percentage and the mark and, and the marks the markup percentage for four different brands so profit percentage has been given as well as markup percentage has been given okay so marked up is marked price percentage has been given so they have given in a bar chart right and uh, look at the let me take any one a rebook right so rebook when you take where the profit percentage is 20 percentage and markup percentage will be 25 percentage right so be careful because 20 30 so each point will be 2 2 so where the markup price will be at 25 so exactly at 25 right okay so this is the way we have to check all the values in the bar chart so this is the data what they have given in a bar chart so next the below table chart shows the discount amount given by the seller for the four different band so uh, Reebok, Skybags, so Nike what what the table chart mentioned here is a discount percentage not percentage direct amount so discount discount amount has been given profit percentage has been given and then markup percentage has been given but here whether selling price has been given no cost price Mm. no cost price is also not given right so in the question where the cost price right cost price of an article is not given as well as the selling price okay selling price is also not given okay so first what we can do here is just listen here friends while teaching the topic profit and loss right while teaching profit and loss i have initially in the introduction video i have told this every time right in the question if the cost price of the article is not given take it as 100 percentage yes or no right in many of the videos while teaching profit and loss i have told this if a question which has selling price and every value given if the cost price is not given always consider the cross price as 100 percentage 
So once you consider the cost price as 100%, then you can find the selling price easily based upon the value. Why? Because you can see when you fix the cost price as 100%, I'm just, just saying that cost price is 100%. What about the selling price here? We know that E sells, let me take any one product, let me take Reebok. So Reebok, you can see the profit percentage is how much? Uh, 20 percentage according to the bar chart I am saying according to the bar chart 20 percentage is the profit percentage so if he if we fix the cost price as 100 percentage then the selling price will be 120 percentage so friends understood or not because 20 percentage profit what about the marked price so marked price will be 25 percentage so we can say the marked price will be 125 percentage so now we can easily find what is the selling price of the rebook why because let me consider the cost price as 100 x so now 120 percentage so 120 divided by 100 into 100 x so now we can cancel it 0 0 0 0 so resultant will be 120 x so 120 x will be the selling price of the first product a rebook so friends understood or not so this is the way we can easily find for all the remaining things sky bags nike for all the remaining uh, datas what they have given it is easy to find the selling price why because we have fixed the cost price as 100 percentage or else some students will ask me can i fix it as 100 don't fix it as 100 why because we don't know the exact cost price of the article so fix it as 100 percentage or 100 x 100 x will be the better option so once you fix it as 100 x as a cost price so we can say the selling price is 20 percentage gaining he is, he is getting a profit of 20 percentage so we can consider it as 120 so for the cost price we found what is 120 so 120 x will be the selling price what about the marked price so similarly 125 divided by 100 into 100 x so resultant will be 125 x so 125 x will be the marked price 120 x will be the selling price 100x will be the cost price. So now, by seeing all the three values, we didn't get the exact value here. We don't know what is the revoke exact cost price. How will you find it? See, we know the cost price. We know the selling price. We know the marked price. But exact value was unknown here. But look at the table chart. They have given a discount. Discount for revoke is how much? 100 rupees. So usually, what is called as discount? Right? Discount is equals to, just see, while teaching 24th day, right? I think 24th day, I've told you. Discount percentage will be marked price minus selling price divided by marked price into 100. So this is the formula that we learned on a discount percentage. Here it is only discount. That means marked price minus selling price. So marked price is how much? 125x. What about the selling price? Selling price is how much? 120x is equals to discount value what they have given for revoke is 100. So now this can be written as 5x is equals to 100, x is equals to 20. So finally, we got the value of x is equals to 20. Substitute here. So now we can say that into 20 resultant will be 1, 2, 3. So 2000 will be the cost price of the rebook and what about the selling price x is equals to 20 so substitute 20 here 120 into 20 will be the selling price of the uh, rebook product and then what about the marked price 125 into 20 so friends understood so this is the way we have to find what is the exact cost price, exact selling price as well as the marked price. By using the table chart value, we found all the values correctly, right? Is there any, just, just give me a moment. Is there any other data what they have given? Uh, no, right? I think this is the only data they have given, table chart. They didn't give you any other note. So I think it is correct, right? Because all the values they have mentioned in the chart itself. But the cost price is not given. So what we did, we always consider the cost price as 100%. That, that's the thing. It's a basics of profit and loss, what I explained while teaching the topic itself. So you always consider the cost price as 100% and try to solve the question. If the selling price is also not given in terms of percentage, keep the cost price as 100x. Some students will ask me whether I can keep, keep it as 200, 300. Yes, you can. But at the final answer, you have to cross check whether you are getting the answer correctly or not. Right? So based upon the discount value. So I think we found for the first article revoke. So where the cost price is 2000, 
yes, just let me check one time what is the cost price cost price is 2000 selling price selling price will be 120 into 20 which will be 2400 which is the selling price of the product and next will be the marked price so marked price will be 125 into 20 will be 2500 so 2500 marked price so here we have found all the values right we have found the selling price we have found the cost price as well as we have found the marked price i think solving a question is easy and profit is also easy right why because 2000 and this will be 2400 so cost price minus selling price will be the profit which is 400 so we can find all the values right all the values we can easily find from the table as well as from the bar chart so now solving five question based upon the chart is very easy because i have seen all the five question so all the five question is like what is the total profit or what is the total uh, profit percentage of all the articles which was sold so solving many times i have told this solving all the five question based upon the da will be very simple and easy but initially for solving all these data might take more time in the exams nearly at least 10 to 15 minutes it takes to find the initial values and then we have to frame one table chart separately after finding all the values and then solving five question will be definitely easy right so similarly like what we solved here we have to solve for the remaining data that is what about the second one second one is what uh, sky bags yes sky bag has been given so what we can do is cost price will not change always we can take the cost price as 100 x right so for all the value because we are going to fix this 100 x as a cost price so fix cost price as 100 x and what about the bar chart in the bar chart selling price profit percentage is 10 percentage profit so 110 percentage will be the selling price so selling price is equals to 110 percentage into the cost price which is 100 x so we can cancel it so 110 x which will be the selling price so what about the marked price so look at the chart 25 percentage is the marked price so if 25 percentage is this marked price then 125 percentage so 125 percentage of the cost price 100 x so cancel it so we can say 125 x so 125 x is what 125 x will be the marked price and what about the selling price 110 x and the discount so just now i have told you discount is marked price minus selling price so marked price is 125 x what about the selling price 110 x so 15 x is the difference here and in the discount according to the table chart they have given 600 so 15 x is equals to 600 so x is equals to 40 after finding the value of x is equal to 40 substitute here which will be 4000 so 4000 is the cost price of the second article which is sky bag so similarly we can find for all the remaining values so friends understood or not so this is the way we have to find the answer for all the questions right and all the given data and then we have to frame a table chart to solve a question i don't think so this is very difficult it's it's like medium level uh, da right so friends uh, what you guys have to remember is i think uh, we have solved many questions on the concept of profit and loss so from this da what you have to learn is basics are more and more important you should know what is discount what is marked price what is discount percentage what is profit percentage and what is selling price what is cost price if the cost price has not given how you need to assume a value if the selling price is not given how to find that selling price based upon the given clue so if you know all these stuff even the question is at five star level do not worry about it you know the basic concept you can solve right so that's the reason i'm repeatedly saying this first write the test right so the same question i have given as a test so write the test and check where at which point you are struggling to solve at that point what you have made a mistake so come and watch this video so that you can understand okay this is the area i did a mistake i don't know what is the formula for the marked price so only i did a mistake so rectify the mistake next da solve it definitely you can able to clear any of the i level competitive exams like bank or cat it requires a basic knowledge of all the topics and then keep on solving a question like this surely you can able to crack the exam right so friends thank you so much for watching this video so see you on the next video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much for watching it bye